Joining us this morning, Elf Beauty CEO Tarang Amin joins us. Tarang, it's good to see you. Biggest uh, acquisition in your history. What exactly did you like? Well, we liked a lot of things. First of all, thank you for having me. Uh, one of the things we loved about in welcoming Notorium to our Elf Beauty family is it really aligns to our strategy of making the best of beauty accessible to every eye, lip, face, and skin concern. It's one of the fastest growing skincare brands, uh, over an 80% CAGR the last two years and has an incredible product portfolio, uh, really clinically effective, skin-compatible, ingredient-led formulas, and a terrific team. So we're very excited about Notorium. Uh, a combination of cash and stock. I guess the, the natural question is whether you're about to get even more acquisitive over the medium to long term, given the currency you've got. Well, you know, we have the great luxury of tremendous growth. We just finished our 18th consecutive quarter of net sales growth, averaging over 20% growth each quarter. And so we've got a great growing business. And even after this acquisition, our net debt to EBITDA ratio is less than 1.5 times. So we certainly have the capacity if we see another terrific brand like Notorium. But we also have a tremendous amount of white space in our existing portfolio of brands. So we're very excited about the growth profile going forward. Are you concerned about the overall state of the consumer? I ask because there are some uh, estimates that excess savings could be drawn down uh, in either this quarter or the next quarter. Are you concerned that could have an impact on the beauty space, um, which, you know, by some measures may be seen as more discretionary spending? Well, you know, the great thing is beauty has been a great category, both in good economies and bad economies. It's one of those small luxuries everyone can afford to really be able to express themselves. And we definitely see a lot of pent up consumer demand to express themselves. The category has been strong, uh, but we're always looking at consumer resiliency. And while the consumer has been resilient, I feel we're particularly well positioned just given the value equation we, we deliver. Premium quality at these extraordinary prices both with our namesake ELF brand as well as now with Notorium, uh, we feel we're well positioned. How about the, the picture of the supply chain at this point in time? Um, you know, one of the, the selling points for Notorium is that it, it's clean beauty at an affordable price. And clean beauty, of course, uh, it has been all the rage in the beauty space over the last few years, especially. Um, would you say that the supply chain at this point is, has gotten to the point where it's pretty efficient to manufacture clean beauty in particular? You know, it is. We made the move after our acquisition of Well People in 2020, a pioneering clean beauty brand, uh, really enabled us to reformate all of ELF into clean. And we saw we were able to do that without having to take our prices up for clean. We see the same with Naturium. They've got a terrific supply network throughout the U.S., further diversifies our supply chain. So we feel really good about our ability to deliver the best of beauty and make it accessible. You know, beauty's been a topic of discussion at our desk for a while now, mostly surrounding some of your much larger rivals that have arguably uh, fumbled the ball in Asia and in some of the supply chain processes. I just wonder, not asking you to uh, address them directly, but, I mean, what sort of opportunities does that afford you right now? Well, you know, we have tremendous white space. We have space in color cosmetics. We're now the number three color cosmetics brand in the U.S. We passed CoverGirl and Revlon in the last year. Yet we're the number one brand at Target. We have almost an 18 share at Target, double our national share. So I'm very bullish about our ability to double our share in color cosmetics. Skincare has been a very fast growing area of our company. We have a lot of white space there too. Our ELF skin business was up 127% in the last quarter relative to the categories plus 10. Adding Notorium further strengthens us in skincare, doubles our presence there. And then internationally, we still have quite a bit of white space. Our primary two countries are Canada and the UK. We're doing quite well there. We've built out a team to continue to expand our business internationally. So I see plenty of growth opportunities for Elf Beauty, regardless of the macro.